Ryan Pitlick, here we are, uh, my second home, and your second home too, uh, the home for health. All right, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're doing our shoulders and our deltoids, so we're gonna work on our shoulders on the superset. We're gonna do, um, they're called rope reverse deltoids, they're over here, and then we're gonna do these, pet deck machine, where you're doing the reverse deltoids like this. And it's gonna be a superset, so it's gonna be 12 of these, and then 12 of those. So, um, follow along, this is a real good exercise to get those rear delts. Those really work it very, very nicely. Um, and it corresponds with your traps and in your back to get that whole full picture. So here we go. First set, follow me over here. Okay, yeah, pull them to the knee. Watch my rear delts. Lean back and bring it right to the your ear line. All right, y'all see that? That's a really, really good rear delt exercise. Remember, there's three hits to your deltoids. Remember, delta means three. You got the front, you got the side, and you got the rear. You gotta work the whole thing to get that full development in your shoulders. So, this is Ezra here helping you overstand fitness. All right, y'all take care, and thanks for watching. What up, y'all? This is uh, Shoulders, uh, Cycle 13, and uh, we're going to get into it. <clears throat> so um, when we got to the gym, we started off with the warm-ups. I'm um, doing our rotator cuffs, you know, uh, external, internal rotations. Uh, and um, internal and external rotations just to get that rotator cuff nice and warm so uh, we can alleviate the risk of energy or injury. injury okay. Um, um, after we warmed up, um, I did a little litmus test where I do the upside down push ups. Um, you know, you're standing up um, on your hands and I uh, you push yourself up. Uh, I, I did almost 10. So it was probably really five if I fully went all the way down. So, but hey, I am getting stronger and that, that's a fun way to get your blood to your head. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. All right. We're going to mix it up and we started off with. Um, with um, a superset reverse shrugs, barbell reverse shrugs with the barbell upright rows. And the poundage I used was the exact same for each. Started off with 65 pounds and did 12 for each exercise, so a total of 24. And uh, so 
you start off with the reverse shrugs, you put the bar behind your back and shrug it up. Okay? And then the upright rows, bring the bar right here and then bring it up here, like that. So start off with 65 pounds, first set, then 12 for each, total 24. Second set, 75 pounds, third set, 85, and then fourth set, 105 pounds. All right, got a nice little sweat going. Got the uh, traps really warmed up. And partial, the partial shoulders warmed up. And um, move directly from there to our reverse. We um, we did a reverse shrug. Um, where I do this on the, the Smith, uh, Smith machine. It's the exact same thing as the reverse shrug we just did in the super set, except you do it with the Smith machine and you're leaning back. So if you have a partner, have him hold your back. That way you're getting more of a lift in your back area. And um, I started that off with um, 135 pounds. Then I went to um, 155 pounds. Then, um, I'm sorry, I went to 185 pounds for my second set. Then 235 pounds. Then 285 pounds. So, uh, my sh my uh, traps is really feeling it right now, and they're fresh. So usually I do my traps at the end of my shoulder workout, so I'm still tired. And my uh, but this time I did them at the beginning, so they're fresh and really strong. So I'm able to knock out a lot more and feel it a lot better. So really, really, really great workout. I went straight from there to seated shrugs, um, where you're seat you're sitting down. Um, they should have a machine for this in your gym where you can sit down and you pull the shrugs up. Started off with 45 pounds, did 12, went to 95, did 12, went to 145, did 12, and then went to 195 and did 12. So that was a really good trap workout. So we did about four exercises, two supersets, one superset, and um, now we're going to our shoulders and the three heads of our deltoids. Okay. So what I started off with is another superset, and this superset I demonstrated for you guys in the video was the um, the peg deck machine reverse delts um, to the uh, rope reverse pullback and um, what I did uh, the weight was basically the same for both of those um, with the uh, peg deck I started off at 100 pounds okay and the rope rear reverse 100 pounds and did 12 for each then I went up to 110 pounds and um, did 12 for each then 120 pounds did 12 for each then 130 pounds did 12 for each so that was a really good superset. Works those rear delts, and uh, since we did back yesterday, it really uh, complemented the back because um, you know your traps are right there, right by your lats, and then you know you got your rear delts which are attached right there to the to the traps and your lats. So it kind of complements the back, and the shoulders is like that armor right over everything, you know. So after we finished that superset, we went to uh, the uh, seated cable front raises. Um, one of the guys was on the seat, so I did them on my knees and just do the cable front raises just like so, but with the cables. I used the free motion machine and um, alternating cable front raises. Um, I started off with 20 pounds, then went to 22 pounds, then went to 25, and then did a drop set at 20 pounds, reversing it and going to hammers. Okay. Um, that uh, I did a total of 20, which means I'm, if I'm doing alternating, it's 10 for each arm. So uh, go ahead and get those in, and um, you're going to feel a nice real pump. And I love cables because the resistance is always there, you know. And um, then straight, straight from there to um, to our uh, barbell press. Our barbell press is almost like a, an incline um, bench press, except... The incline is much higher, so you're just leaning just a little bit back so that you're still using the delts and not your chest. And then you just press it up, press it up. So it's like doing standing uh, presses, military presses, except you're sitting down and you're leaning just a little bit back. All right, do that with the barbell. <clears throat> Started off at 65 pounds, did 12. Went up to 85 pounds, did 12. Then went to 105, did 12. And then went to 125 and did a burnout set about 20. And so, um, got that real nice pump going, and then went straight over to my dumbbell lateral raises. Now, dumbbell lateral raises, when you're doing the lat raises, a lot of people tend to 
had their arms going up. Um, well, there's more of your elbows going up. So that way you can get the side. So you can hold the weight and then go like this. You know, shh, like that. And get that real nice pump right there in your uh, your side uh, deltoids or your lateral deltoids. And um, did that, started off with 20 pound dumbbells, did um, 12, did 25, did 12. Um, one thing I really concentrate on is I explode up and then I resist down. Slow up, exist, resist down. Because you know, all your growth comes from the eccentric. And I keep harping on that, so please note that. And um, you're going to find a lot more growth when you resist eccentrically down. Okay? So then um, the dumbbell lateral raises, my third set went to 30, then 35. And um, then that completes the shoulder workout. So um, this is really awesome. That's for our traps and our shoulders. And uh, so, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really enjoyed it. Um, body is developing, coming together. Hey, we're putting in the numbers. We're putting in the work. We have no choice but to reap the benefits and reap the results of super, super physique. And, um, hey, these are the building blocks that we need to get there. So just keep pushing. Stay on the grind because, hey, I'm grinding here right with you guys. So, hey, appreciate you guys watching. This is Ezra here helping you overstand fitness. Thanks.